All-time meeting number 42, the Heels and the Hokies, and there will be no return. 33rd year as the defensive coordinator for Bud Foster for this Virginia Tech program. Right side, breaking through second level is Michael Carter, and he's into Virginia Tech territory. Williams both. Look at the big men get up and go. When you think about North Carolina's offensive line, you talk about how... Howell looking left, has a man with a couple of steps, and to the end zone, Daz Newsome, the touchdown catch of 47 yards from Sam Howell. This is a big game for Daz Newsome, had a brother that played at Virginia Tech, they go right back at Connor, and he's a few steps behind this time, and how about that trying to fly around too fast, a little misdirection, okie doke, and a first down just like that. Hooker is credited with 39 carries this season. Mitchell's been very active as well with Hendon Hooker as quarterback. That ball's on the turf. North Carolina says it is covered. Jason Strobridge was right there, and North Carolina has covered on the fumble. Cannot help a defense out like this in an offense that's already clicking. And a good job by Strobridge to fall on. Doesn't get rattled with the blitz. And they bring four. Powell's pass. Caught inside the 20. Corral is inside the 10. And they convert on third down. They had been just eight in the conference, 36%. He draws up here on another big third down. Third and goal. Howell back pedaling. He's got all day. Trying to extend this play and throw on the run near the two-yard line, and it's incomplete. 26-yard attempt for Noah Ruggles, 8 of 12 on the season. 26 yard away for Ruggles and North Carolina has scored on both of its possessions here Virginia Tech second best of the ACC on third down 51 percent Hooker's gonna try to do it diving forward past the 35 yard line and that is good enough for the first down to create some turnovers on defense more importantly they need to hold on to it the rest of the way on offense to have a chance pressure on third and long the pass is complete it's Smith but he is short of the marker, just beyond the 40-yard line. Miles Dorn. Give him a chance to shake around and, and wiggle. Go right at it. Newsom, the deep man. Bradburn, the punt. That'll bounce there the three-yard line. The Hokies kept it alive. That ball did not break the plane of the goal line, and they have downed it inside the five. Armani Chapman with the hustle. Look at that. Huge play on special. Not to put the hammer down on him. Instead, it's third down and long. Little delay in the handoff to Williams. Powers his way up the middle. He needed to get that ball to about the 13-yard line, and the chains are moving. Williams. Two for three in the first quarter. On third down for the Tar Heels. Howell up there at the 25, and he's got it. That's a first down. Back coach who's done an excellent job with these guys, sending in the plays for Longo. Howell floats that one to the 30. That's Deami Brown. And he goes out of bounds. And a big comeback win against the Gamecocks. Yeah. Two fourth quarter drives in that game of 98 and 95 yards. And that pass well behind the receiver. Now a flag is out. Brown was the intended receiver. Up in the air. That's his football. Just a sophomore. And playing extra hard against his home state. He's a North Carolina kid. Howell, middle of the field, going up to grab it. Rontavius Groves makes the catch for 11 yards and a first down. Came in just eighth in the conference on third down. Howell. Again, that's green against Farley. That's three on three. Wouldn't be surprised if they win one that they shouldn't. They're the rest of the way. I just didn't realize it would be right away. This is Turner. Got past the first man down that sideline. In school history, he's in his fourth season now, and his team is 4-2 and 1-2 and one and two in conference play. And they've got a first down at the 45-yard line, thanks to Deshaun McLeese. Hooker, the pump of the throw. Wide open man is Trey Turner. In stride, trying to get to the end zone. It's a touchdown for Virginia Tech. Lunch pail D and the
the Hokey O. Yeah, the LPD got a big stop, forced a punt, and taking advantage of it. The Hokey for three of five in the first quarter on third down. They'll flip it to Newsom. Makes a move and a stiff arm near the 35 yard line. North Carolina was off last week. Prior to that, played Georgia Tech. As he'll run this one. Antonio Williams back to back plays for a first down. He's up there midfield. Number 24, Antonio Williams. Devin Hunter made the tackle. Another delay and run. This is Williams. He's down near the 43-yard line, short of the sticks, five yards on the run for Antonio Williams, the senior. Time they stop it, about six yards shot. Grimsley is standing at his eight-yard line to receive the punt from Kiernan. Wants to make a fair catch and does so successfully. We wish the Edmonds brothers all the best in the National Football League. And the Grand Marshal of the Parade. Hooker is the grand marshal of that run. Up there, the 30-yard line. Storm Duck had to cut him down. Put it in his hands and go. Look at that offensive line. The youngsters, everybody getting up and moving. Athletic hat. Deep into the play clock. Third and seven. Hooker from the pocket. It's incomplete. Hokies and Tar Heels. Howell. Complete pass to Daz Newsom. You're, you're not going to get rid of him. Had a great talk with him yesterday. Pressured. Complete. Walston. First down as he dives towards midfield. And I love it. Carter. Inside the 40. Michael Carter gets dragged down inside the 30-yard line. Flags fly. Devin Hunter on the tackle for Virginia Tech. And 23 yards on the run. 22-19 win on the road last year for Virginia Tech to win its third in a row in the series. And they've won seven of the last nine against the Tar Heels. This is Toe Groves adjusting to that football and making the catch. Inside of eight and a half minutes to go in the second quarter in North Carolina with a three-point lead. Howell hands it off. Williams on that delay play that we've seen on a number of occasions. Good job of settling down and knocking down the ball carrier. Carter cuts back the other way and down the sideline accelerating Michael Carter. He's out near the 10 yard line for Carter. Let's see if you can see Brian Anderson. He's up at the next level and he got just enough of Alan Tisdale. Tisdale's going to turn and burn and knock him down, but the damage is done. There he is. Thanks for that shot, guys. Up at that next level to slow down the middle linebacker with 68. Seven carries and 81 yards for Carter after that run. Howell still has the football, flings it to the goal line and diving in. It's Daz Newsom for the touchdown for North Carolina. Oh. Late flag, post whistle. Michael Carter on the ground, gets him down there, and then it's Howell to Newsom. Little stiff arm. Year with a 10 and four record in his first season for Justin Fuente. Hooker tried to spin away from Miles Dorn, the senior from Charlotte, North Carolina. Win last Saturday against the University of Rhode Island. 34-17, most recent game for the Hokies. Up towards midfield, it's Deshaun McLeese. 15 yards, shaking and moving his way. Yeah, speaking of shakes, doing a good job of wow. And you know what? I mean, it's Chad. 12 and three against the Tar Heels as ACC opponents. Hooker still got it. He's got some room. Bashes his way to the 40-yard line and close to another first down. If he peels off and defends that run, it's a nice little dump pass and easy for him. Hooker wants to throw. Flag on the play. Turner trying to get away from Miles Dorn. And that initial indication is that it's going against Carolina. A 98-yard drive and a two-point conversion to win it 22-19 last year. Hooker. Inside the five. James Mitchell went up to get it. Over Storm Duck. Goal Tech. 
Well, UNC doesn't quite bite like they did earlier on the double pump. The coverage is there, but a little too late and a little too big. James Mitchell, 6'3", 252. He goes up and high points this ball. And how about the throw by Hooker to make sure he puts it up there? To the goal line. McLeese in for the touchdown for Virginia Tech from two yards away. Deshaun McLeese had the game winner in Miami. Scores a great big one here with 3.29 left in the second quarter. Dan, the Hokies made it to that ACC championship game back in 2016. Pressure on Howell. He gets it away. Hewitt was right up in his grill. Well, he's, he's going to be lucky. They may drop a flag here for grounding. He wasn't outside the tackle box, and they will. And again, guys running free. Confusing that offensive front. There's Hewitt. The Venice High School Indian down in southwest Florida. Venice haven't brought extra guys. It's been a three or four man rush. It'll bring three. Howell wants to throw it. Near the 20 incomplete. Up to the 25 for Corrales. Well short of the marker. On that last series. And forcing a punt. Kiernan. Grimsley. Late signal for the fair catch just beyond the 35-yard line. McLeese turns the corner into Tar Heel territory and near the 40-yard line as Dorn made the tackle. Young this offensive line, but they've done an excellent job here the last couple series of getting up and moving in unison and then getting up to... I keep coming back to it. Seven rushes and 55 yards for McLeese. They fake it to him. This time, the receiver is open and it's Dalton Keen inside the 25-yard line against Miami in that huge game. Keeps on coming. Keen on a running play. A flag thrown. It's first down and goal. One for one in the red zone. The McLeese touchdown here in the second quarter. From just two yards out. Keen going to drag some white shirts with him inside the five. Here's the play before that one. The keeper. Well, you saw the oh, look at that leg. My goodness. Yikes. Third and goal with 24 ticks remaining before halftime. He's got eight TD passes on the season. Floats it to the end zone. The catch is made by Hazleton for a touchdown. Incredible grab from Hazleton and a hooky score. Grab. Nice little fade. The blitz was coming. You got the new guy in there. Let's put the heat on him. And he puts it right on the money for Hazleton. Damon Hazleton was targeted 14 times last week. He's been banged up a little bit. The junior is a big deep ball threat right here. And here it's just a nice little touch pass. The 61 yards on the game and eight carries for McLeese. Trying the left side this time. And he's got nowhere to go. That's a North Carolina roadblock with the lead on the team with four touchdown receptions this season. Keene also has four, and it's third and six. Willis trying to escape that pocket. And he gets dragged down by Jason Strobridge. A lot of space to drop him. Strobridge. Fair catch. 28-yard line or so for Daz Newsom and made successfully after the first three and out of the game. The Hokies can get off the field as well. Powell out of the pocket, running up near the 40-yard line, and that is going to be enough for a first down. They're going to run it and get it. Antonio Williams batters his way across midfield, first of the second half. Howell backpedals. He unloads it. Has a receiver down the field inside the 10-yard line. Diami Brown with the catch and the pass from Howell. Goes limping off here. There's the protection he needs. There's the time that he didn't have all the time in the first half. And a nice job to just run underneath the ground, look it in, and try. Diami Brown all the way down the field. And it's a first and goal, Tar Heels. 43 yards on the previous play. They sprint out and throw, and it's a touchdown.
touchdown. Touchdown. Rontavious Toe Groves, a six-yard pass play from Howell, his third TD pass of the game. North Carolina to get out there, a nice first drive after the defense gets a stop. And how about Toe Groves going? Dancing the night away after that one. And made it seem like it was the right thing to do, get back into ball. Willis. That's what he's talking about. Up near midfield <laughs> to Trey Turner. 25 yards on the previous play. The ball right at midfield. You're at Lane Stadium. Willis trying to buy some time, but he dives forward to mitigate the damage. The coverage. Good job by the secondary because initially there's time for Willis, but nobody can get open for him. But he walked up now on third down and long. Two for five on third down. Little screen pass. McLeese. McLeese. Inside the 30. Deshaun McLeese. Ross with the tackle. Nine. They do an excellent job of reading screen. Watch the bodies go. They've got him. They've got him bottled up, right? Hides behind a couple big bodies and then scoots out, comes back across the grain. What an incredible play by Deshaun McLeese. TD passes in that game for Willis. The ball carrier. Loss of one. Stop. Willis on the move. Puts on the brakes. Ran into Surratt and got rid of the football. But the flag is out. An easy call. And how about the pressure coming from the backside, the hustle, and a good job of getting back outside by Fox. And then here's Chaz Surratt, who's been incredible. Got to get just past. That 30-yard line. That incompletion snapped a string of five straight passes. Completed by Howell, and he's down. Pollard, the sack for the Hokies. There in Apopka, Florida, that's where Warren saps from, former Miami Hurricane. And look at the freshman, Pollard. From his goal line, Grimsley awaits the punt. Back pedals inside the 35. 42 yard line for Grimsley. They whittle it down to a third and two now. Dalton Keene will get it, and then there was a fumble tail end of the play. Jay Ford go jump man on him there at the end as he runs to the sidelines. Dalton Keene has meant so much to this team the last couple weeks and just punched out. It looked like Gemmel got his right hand in there, knocked the pigskin loose, and the second turnover of the game is costly. All the white hats around the ball. We hear this year and the difference it made. Howell has to get rid of it. Oh, my goodness. How can they not throw a flag right there? Wow. We had a targeting penalty against Rhode Island last week. This is going to be Surratt on the fake. Doesn't get there. Ooh. There's a flag. Flag comes out after the play as we approach 6 p.m. Blacksburg time. Patterson. Up near midfield, they'll mark him at the 49. It's a first down for Patterson as Ford made the tackle. And here by Patterson, looking down the field, nothing there. Actually, it's, it's a design run as Austin Cannon, who's in there for less of this little bit of the circus look with guys walking around, trying to confuse. Patterson, hole on the left side, bouncing inside the 40. Sticks are rolling for the Hokies and 10 yards for Patterson. Patterson down near the 20. First down for Virginia Tech. So Zach Gill, his backup, they're in along that defensive line now to replace him. Ninth play of the drive. Second passing attempt is a completion from Patterson to Hazleton. Inside the 10 of the 8. Patterson gets by one man. Can't get by the second. Zach Gill. The drive for Virginia Tech. And Patterson. Hands it off. Hazleton gets down to the 5-yard line.
Damon Hazelton, the junior from Baltimore, Maryland, got three. Brian Johnson in for the field goal attempt, 23 yards away, five of seven on the season. And now six of eight. Brian Johnson gets three out of the drive for Virginia Tech. Some of the barrel last season, they flipped that around, and thanks in large part to this freshman. Carter caught it with a big hit from Diablo and a loss of three. Took a little while to develop. Diablo knew exactly where to go. Heating it up. And get Powell gets dragged to the turf. Jared Hewitt. Third sack of the game. Hokies. Well, Hewitt, the captain there on defense. Look at him come. He's from Venice, Florida. The shark tooth capital of the world down there, Casper. 13 sacks in their last three games for the Hokies. Powell steps up. Launches this one. Groves was the closest North Carolina receiver. Hezekiah Grimsley, number six, waits back at his 45. Wants the fair catch. And just beyond the 40-yard line, made by Grimsley. Many dynamic plays here in this game, and he's right back out there right now. Next pitch formation. He does not get the pitch. Patterson gets run down and pushed back. Chaz Surratt. Patterson. Give up the big hitter here. Got to keep him in front of you. Powell looking left all the way. Newsom past the 30. And on the same page there to move the chains. Little trickery. Howell throws it. It's a wide open man. It's Antoine Green. And Green is in the end zone for North Carolina on the trickery razzle play. 68 yards for the Tar Heels. Number three, Antoine Green. So here you go and, and watch this defense. Everybody, everybody flying, trying to get the angles right, and they let number three slip out. Antoine Green, the sophomore. Former Rockledge Raider, back in the Sunshine State, left all alone. And making sure he lays it right out there for him is Sam Howe. Even with Hewitt there in his face. Nice play call against a very aggressive. Still plenty of time for Patterson and company. They can't, can't force it and try to hit it all right now, but they get a big hitter, don't they? And a first down at the 47-yard line for Virginia Tech. Patterson turns it upfield. Patterson all the way to the house. Quincy Patterson, the third for the touchdown. Look at this young offensive line getting a hat on a hat. Surratt takes a chance, comes knifing through, misses, and so do a few others with the wrong angles. And Quincy Patterson, the big man at 250 pounds, can go answering right away just like that. Plenty of football left to play. They'll try to get it on the ground, and it won't happen. Antonio Williams denied Rashard Ashby. Watch 25. Get off the spot. Come meet him and stand him right up. An excellent job by the Insums Lee, the deep man. At his own 28 yard line. Kiernan gets it away cleanly. Fair catch. Grimsley right in the breadbasket, just beyond the 30 yard line. We're decided by a total of 17 points. First time that's happened since the late 70s, and that trend continues. Ball on the ground. So like, this, yeah, it, Patterson got it back, I think, James. Yeah, but it will be a loss of one. At 40 seconds or so remaining for Sam Howell in the offense, they get the ball back. Groves for North Carolina. Bounces inside the five and goes into the end zone. Takes off. 
Not quite to the 25 for Howell as he ran into Ashby. Sam Howell, four yards on the play. Twice in this half, North Carolina came back to take the lead. Virginia Tech came back to tie it up. And Howell gets wrapped up. Pollard makes the play in a loss of one. And also, it's going to get a little tricky here if you don't get a first down. Five of 13 on third down. Howell tries to get out of that pocket and he can't do it. Hewitt led the way defensively, a Tech loss of three. It'll be Patterson that just looks like take a knee and take us into OT. That's where we're going. A power in their way on the ground. 12 carries and 103 yards rushing for Patterson. The pass inside the five and incomplete. In his career, now Patterson right side. At the 20 and dropped. And they got stuffed by the Clemson defense. Lost that game 21-20 to the then number one team in the country, the Tigers. Patterson kept his footing. And he gets run down inside the 20. This would be the longest make of the season for Brian Johnson. From 38 yards away. And the Johnson is good. Second field goal of the game. Newsom fights his way inside the 20. And down to the 17, eight yards. Penalty markers on the field. And don't sleep on Hal tucking it and trying to get there with his legs, using his feet. Handoff. Driving his way inside the 15, Javante Williams. And they convert on third down. Williams got nine. Powell looking. Takes off. Just inside the 15 as Hewitt was chasing him. A loss of one. Third and long. Just did get the snap away. Michael Carter on the run. Maybe a yard as Ashby was waiting. Ruggles. 29 yards away. Noah Ruggles. It's good. It's good. We're headed to our second overtime. Captain Fuentes, Hokies, trying to get their third win in a row. So in the second over, North Carolina will possess the ball first. Watch for Newsom. Nine catches in the game, 112 yards, both career highs. They swing it out. It's Williams. Williams down to the 10. Inside the 10-yard line, down to the 8. And a first down, Javante Williams. We're going north and south, and guess who springs him? Daz Newsom, the big touchdown scorer here. There with the block on the Get a first down, or it's another field goal try. Powell. Throws to the end zone. And a touchdown. Bo Corrales. Howell extending the play and hitting Corrales for the eight-yard TD in our second overtime. Defenders up on him, and then he forces another one in, not scared to take another chance right here. Puts it right into the belly of Corrales. And these receivers for North Carolina, who have had a tough time of hanging onto the football in recent weeks, with a defender draped on his back, Corrales, as they take another look at it upstairs. Both hands in and look for him maybe here to go right back to the ground, try to hammer away. Patterson took on the initial contact and continued to drive forward. A couple of field goals and a touchdown so far. And the TD belongs to North Carolina on its possession in the second OT. Aaron Crawford makes the play for North Carolina, and there is no game. Who have stepped up here the last couple plays. Third down and seven now. Patterson takes off. Inside the 20. Runs into Chaz Surratt. Patterson. The pass. Man 
coverage, Greg Ross, who's had some trouble. And look at that pass as we get a closer look at it. It's a one-handed catch with Ross hanging all over him. The flag that was declined, he still had him wrapped up. He had no choice but to make it a one-handed grab. 18-yard TD toss. Patterson to Hazelton. The extra point is good. After a touchdown, you have to go for two. The extra point, one, is not an option. The pass is incomplete. Patterson can't get away. Chaz Surratt, textbook tackle, and he pulls down the big quarterback. Loss of two. Can't, can't get over the fact that he was a quarterback his whole life. He's decided to go over to the other side angle, good position, and he drops a tough guy to bring down. Patterson on third and 12. Cannot run away from that North Carolina defense. It's Serrata again. This will be from 41 yards away to put Virginia Tech in front in our third overtime. The 41-yarder misses it just to the left. Of your screen by the boundary. Williams, direct snap. And down close to the 20-yard line. There is no gain as Ashby makes the tackle of Williams. If North Carolina wins, Mac Brown is the all-time winningest coach in school history. Howell's pass. Inside the 15, is it enough for a first down? Very close to the marker, the Corrales. So a first and 20 now. Hand off Williams. Submarines his way down to the 22 or 3. 21 all. Second and long. Williams. Hops in the air down to the 20. Can't be willy-nilly holding on to that football right now. Most important thing is to keep it. Williams for three. Williams. From 35 yards away, Ruggles to win it for Carolina. In triple overtime. No. It's no good. And this is our fourth overtime. Newsom out of bounds. A third down and seven. That's Groves in motion. Howell. Buying time but has to throw it away. 44 yards for Ruggles and the lead. Deflected. Either way, it's the 13th block kick for Virginia Tech under Justin Fuente. And that is some Beamer ball right there. Against North Carolina. And six of the last seven against the Tar Heels. Here's Dalton Keene very carefully making his way inside the 20. Credit to the young man Beckton who usually wears 94, is wearing 69. And how about this, trying to help Ball starts. Number 74, third down. One of the youngsters up front, a freshman from Huntington. Third and ten, and Patterson. Mm. Just barely got back to the line of scrimmage, which was the 25-yard line. Long this season, 35 yards. Career-long, 45 yards. This from 42 to win it in four overtimes for the Hokies. It's no good! One play for two points from the three. Tied at 41. To the end zone. Wow. Broke it up. No flags on the play. Hazelton, the receiver, storm up the defender. The two-point try in our fifth overtime for North Carolina to win it. They're going to Carter, and he gets stopped. Khalil Ladler had it red all the way. Immediately. Again, time and time again. Overtime number six. First crack at it for North Carolina from the three. Howell through the progression. Puts on the brakes. It's Ladler again. Denies Howell. But 
now the red shirt freshman who hasn't had much action at all with a chance to win it. Patterson to the 